Well, good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Coffee with a Coach. I have an interesting question for you. If you were in a fight, would you rather be Chuck Norris or Steven Seagal? Now, I know that sounds like a weird question, but it's really getting us into the series that we're going to start together on how to use power and influence to get what you need for yourself and for your family and friends and others on a daily basis. Now, the reason we choose those two aging martial arts stars is because both of their fighting styles are very different. You fight Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris knows karate, so he comes right at you with kicks and punches. Steven Seagal, on the other hand, you come at him, he knows a style called Aikido. Aikido is where the person uses the other person's energy against him. So you rush at him and then he'll grab you by the arm and twist it around all grotesquely and then it cracks really loud and then you're, you're out of the fight. You know, I like to think of those two styles really lending themselves to our descriptions of power and influence. So let's talk about power first. In power, we're going to talk about Chuck Norris. Power is our ability to influence the behaviors and actions of other people. And when you look at power, first thing you've got to know about power is that everybody has it. People use it to varying degrees. A lot of times it rests in the eye of the beholder and it can change over time. So real quick, I'm going to take you down the list of powers and then just know over the next few weeks, we're going to look at each one individually. I'll define it for you and I'll give you some examples of how to gain more of it and how to use it better. The first one is resource power. People do what I want because I control resources. Information. People do what I want because I control information. Position power. People do what I want because I'm in charge around here and title. Uh, proxy power. People do what I want because I'm tied to people in high places. Reward power. People do what I want because I can reward them. And then power's ugly stepsister, which is punishment power. People do what I want because I'll punish them if they don't. Expertise power. People do what I want because I know a lot of stuff. Uh, personal power. People do what I want because they really like me. And charisma power is people do what I want because I'm just so awesome that everybody wants to be around me and I'm just drawn in by my energy. Okay, not everybody has that, by the way, myself included. Now, influence is more along the lines of Steven Seagal. Influence is where you can draw people towards you so that you can get what you need. So here's some influence styles, and we'll be looking at these in depth. Logical persuasion. I'm able to get what I need because I can put things in terms that kind of analytical people can understand. Charts and data and graphs and those things. Common vision. I can get people because I, uh, I can paint a big picture that everybody's drawn into. You might think of Martin Luther King with his I Have a Dream speech. Impact management. I can use really creative stories and examples to get your attention. Uh, coercion. I can get what I need from you because I'm going to just twist your arm until I get it. Uh, organizational awareness. I know the players and so I can leverage those relationships. Empowerment. I can help people feel like they're empowered around me and then they'll do what I need them to do. Interpersonal awareness. I know who you are and I have a rapport with you that I've built and so we can work together. Relationship building is that on a bigger scale. I'm really good at just building relationships and networking and the final one is bargaining. Bargaining is negotiation. Now the good news is all of us can learn those and we can learn how to do them better. And so over the next few weeks, we're going to take a look at power again, which is like Chuck Norris coming right at you with kicks and punches, our ability to influence the behaviors and actions of others, and influence. This is Steven Seagal, where I grab you, turn you around, twist that arm, it cracks really loud and you scream. And that's kind of brutal. But that's our ability to draw people to us and get them to do what we need. So stay tuned with me. We'll work on this each and every week. That's it for this week's issue of Coffee with a Coach. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.